welcome to easy gates biomedical gate 22 paper based solutions so i'll be answering uh, problems based on circuits analog electronics control systems measurements digital electronics and problems related to sensors and instrumentation okay so initially i'll be going through this only this problems only so i'll be uploading okay the problems one by one okay don't expect it to be delivered in one day itself and do subscribe the channel okay so we'll get the updates once you subscribe okay so the first problem to begin with is this one so probably a case it is for two marks and question numbers will display soon okay so in front of the video you can get the display seen uh, soon for the question number so that's the first problem to begin with so re little related to the biomedical field so there is a blood pressure measurement device using a flexible diaphragm mounted with four identical strain cages okay so even though you don't know that uh, background uh, uh, instrument completely so it's given four identical strain cages that is connected in the v stone bridge as shown in figure assume that strain gauges have nominal resistance that means nominal resistance means zero strain resistance of the gauges given zero strain resistance of the strain gauges given that is rg is equal to strain gauge resistance is 10 kilo ohm without any applied strain and gauge factor is given usually we take sg it is given as g or g dot f you can it's up to you that is given as 40 okay let me go by my convention and eng's modulus of elasticity is given that is e that is equal to uh, 10 mega pascals okay so that's a pressure unit uh, like instead of newton per meter square usually we expect it okay fine so the blood pressure variations okay resulting in small finite change in the strain strain is given as uh, usually i take the strain this way that is small e okay that's my strain and sigma is given as a stress okay so sigma is given as a stress experienced by the strain gauges we can say so if v not is output of the waste stone bit that's a full bridge so it is full of sensing elements okay having the strains mentioned this is minus e this is plus e this is minus e and this is plus e all are strain gauges so these two sensors this is this is sensing compressive strain this is sensing tensile this is sensing tensile and this is sensing compressive okay it's a full bridge the moment you see the full bridge you know the output of the full bridge it's a active transduction sorry it's a passive transduction but very linear transduction so very linear transduction is happening in this bridge where v not is equal to e into delta r by r that's a full bridge linear output so there is going to be a small change in resistance that's what he said okay small finite change in strain definitely because of the strain there is going to be the change in resistance and hope you remember the important uh, identity delta r by r is nothing but unit change in resistance that is nothing but delta r by r divided by strain is equal to gauge factor therefore delta r by r i can say is equal to gauge factor into the strain experienced by your gauges okay so then we can connect so then v not is going to be it is e into delta r by r is the gauge factor where what is e e is your excitation okay this is excitation to the bridge so e into sg into the strain applied or sensed by the strain gauges so that is your v not okay so now what is e but problem is v not by stress okay sensitivity of the bridge for the applied stress okay or experienced stress so we'll go for that factor so v not is equal to the gauge factor sg that is e into sg into strain battery excitation there is a bridge excitation battery voltage into the gauge factor into the strain and hope we remember the eng's modulus of elasticity is equal to stress by strain the stress only given as sigma and this is nothing but our strain okay experienced by the gauge so then there is a conflict so this is the battery voltage e and this is the eng's modulus of elasticity so to avoid this conflict let me replace this battery voltage by that 2 volt 
okay or you can take it as a input voltage excitation to the bridge okay so you can remember here as v naught is equal to v in into delta r by r instead of e because e represents also your Young's modulus of elasticity. So then this is my Young's modulus of elasticity. So from this, I'll go for the strain as stress divided by Young's modulus of elasticity. Then V naught is going to become two volt excitation to the bridge into the gauge factor into the strain. There is nothing but stress divided by Young's modulus of elasticity. So then V naught is equal to it's 2 volt into the gauge factor divided by Young's modulus of elasticity into the stress. So then straight away, what, what we have is, this is what the sensitivity of the bridge is. So this is stress and this is your output voltage. This is going to be in volts and this is going to be in megapascal. So the problem is over. What is the sensitivity of the bridge in old per megapascal means? So sensitivity of the bridge is equal to its 2 volt into the gauge factor that is equal to 40 given and E is given gauge factor is 40 E is 10 mega Pascal. So let me take 10 mega Pascal. So straight away you get the unit balanced. So it is uh, the problem is raised by the designer for volt per mega Pascal sensitivity. It's very simple straightforward. So it is going to become 80 by 10. So it is going to be 8 volt per every mega pascal applied what it mean the bridge will produce 8 volt for every mega pascal applied or every mega pascal stress the bridge will produce 8 volt that's what it means so the answer is going to be very simple problem once you connect it that's very easy so answer is going to be 8 okay so because it is given in the unit of old pair mega pascal that is given let me check the unit yes it is given old pair mega pascal it is old mega pascal inverse it is given you can feel it as old pair mega pascal so this is old pair mega pascal okay yes that's your perfect answer so the answer is eight so up to how many decimal places not mentioned okay so simply it is eight okay is the answer so feel it okay if it is uh, up to two decimal places if you feel by uh, feel this by habit you should have given 8.00 as the answer. So such an interesting problem exploiting the basics of strain gauges in a full bridge. Okay. But not the active bridge. It's a simple passive bridge. It is perfectly doing linear transaction. So thanks for watching. We'll update you with the next problem. Do subscribe the channel so that you will get the updates instantly. Okay. And also another information. So easy gates gate 23 and gate 24 batches of biomedicals already started students who are interested to join weekend regular or online program okay can uh, approach us through the number 9487072277 either whatsapp or call us okay thank you once again